supernova was created, um, I was very interested in investigating the way we see gender. I was thinking a lot of my place as a woman. I was really attracted to the fluidity of gender roles and, and this gray area between being a woman and, and being a man. We have a choice as a society to either repress our sexuality, uh, the way we express ourselves, and generate violence and towards others, but mainly towards ourselves. Or we can welcome these new forms of expression. How long were you filming for? We shot Supernova in three days. Do you have any interesting stories to tell about the what happened on set? The day we we went to Cunha, that's the, the city where we we went to, to do the exterior shots. We went to this beautiful lavender field and it was gorgeous. It was on the top of a mountain. And, uh, but of course there were a lot of bees flying around. And the day before the shooting, we found out that one of the performers, Yolanda, he was awfully allergic to bees. And he had to perform practically practically naked um, without any clothes on um, between this bee cloud that was around him. <laughs> and we weren't near uh, any hospitals or anything like that. And we were all very nervous. And we had like this basic first aid kit and that's all. <laughs> and so we just stood there and praying that the bees stayed away from him. Praise to Yolanda because he was very, <laughs> courageous um, yeah. and he did an amazing amazing job um, so tell me more about the dancing you know it's uh, very interesting did you choreograph it or did you just give um you know the performers free reign to... it was freestyle uh, both of the performers Yolanda and, and Katarina are amazing dancers and it was mesmerizing to just watch them dance together um, they actually knew each other before the shooting that created this amazing interaction between them. Um, I would only position them in the right place or give them directions regarding the frame and how much space they had to perform. But mainly everything that we see in the movie was created by them at the time we were shooting. There's some, you know, sort of interesting shots there. Can you tell us more about the technical aspect? At the time we shot Supernova, we didn't really have an, a lot of resource. It was one of my first films. So we borrowed the camera from a friend and, and the director of photography, Leo Todesco. It's one of my favorite photographers of all time. Um, he actually manufactured the Fresnel we used in the film. He actually um, grabbed the light bulb and some pieces of metal and created the lighting equipment we used in the film. We faced um, the shooting as an experience, uh, let ourselves um, to make mistakes that created this um, freedom of, of creation. You mentioned before, you know, that you felt things were quite repressed where you're from. Can you tell us more about how important this portrayal of intimacy and sexuality was for you as an artist? Sexuality is one of the cores of my inspiration. It's one of the most important aspects in my artistic production. It's always there. Sexuality as a way of expressing ourselves and our bodies and our relationship with others, gender roles. It's my way of thinking about my place in the world. And was the title Supernova sort of a metaphor for orgasm? An orgasm is, I think, is as, as strong as a supernova. It just breaks everything um, we have as preconceived. Can you tell us a little bit more about this expansion of cinema into contemporary art? I graduated in film two years ago and since college I knew that I was um, really interested in the intersection of art and cinema and not cinema per se. Um, video art and video performances are things that really inspire me. 
I think I started to realize that when um, one professor I had in college uh, introduced me to the work of Sophie Kali, the notions um, of what it, uh, an image should look like. I think that we have this kind of freedom right now um, in contemporary art to just um, explore the not only the um, the content in the image, but um, the, the destruction of image and reconstruction of image. Okay, can you tell me more about like what tools you're using to make your film? I have a digital camera, but I also um, have been exploring our mobiles, create this glitches. And I like to explore um, a lot of different cameras and ways of producing image. Every tool we use has a different way of filtering the world that we live in. And I like to just grab this, all of these tools and mix them together. That's what um, allows me to analyze and think about the different attributions that an image has in our contemporary society. So can you tell us a little bit about um, what you're working on at the moment? What new projects you have? I, I know that you've recently created a new uh, short film on your, on your artistic residency. What's next for you? I have just come back from an artistic residency called Kaisa. It's located in the coast of Sao Paulo state at the beach. I spent 15 days there and it was one of the most amazing experiences I had. There I met two amazing artists, um, Francisco Pereira and Jig Ferreira, and we created this project called And There Was Light. And it's a photography series and a video performance that uh, investigates the sun as this archetypical and symbolic figure. The sun, as other natural phenomenon, is represented in different cultures because we all relate to it as humans. Spe specifically, the sun is commonly represented as a male figure and the moon as a female figure. So interesting because at the same time that the sun um, controls, organizes our galaxy, it organizes our daily life. So on your website, you've um, you know you've broken it down into three categories of fashion, film, video art, and film. Would you say that um, you you know you're working amongst these categories equally, or are you more focused on one type at the moment? I think that I'm really focused in video art and video performance right now. But it's hard to trace the line, right? When talking about this, this genres, they often mix. And I have seen fashion films that are truly pieces of art. So it's a blurred line, but I, I would say that I'm mostly focused in video art and in video performance. Within the experimental film genre, what kind of breakthroughs are you expecting? I had the chance to work in an art gallery here in Sao Paulo. And there I worked with NFTs and, and the metaverse. What I can say is that I'm observing and studying what's going on. It has the has potential, the potential to be something um, powerful and innovative. But at the same time, I think that it has a lot to do with a speculative way of seeing art and dealing art. I see people using the word um, decentralization as if it were the same as democratization. But in reality, I see it as a deregulation more than anything. It would be democratic if we all had the same tools to explore this new world. And coming from Brazil, we know it's, it's not uh, the case. So can you tell us a little bit about what kind of issues you're facing as an independent filmmaker? I'm not only an independent filmmaker, but I'm also a Brazilian independent filmmaker. Brazil is not in, at the center of the film industry. Um, it's a lot harder to create here. Our elected president has just destroyed the culture ministry. We don't have it anymore. That's why I think that 
and this network that we have we're doing here um, participating in international festivals bringing people together is very very important because it's a way to showcase your work celebrate artworks that come from places that are not the center of the film industry. Do you have any advice for young experimental filmmakers? I'm still a young experimental artist. I'm just um, 24 years old. So this piece of advice is also something I tell myself all the time. Be courageous in expressing your beliefs and, and don't censor yourself in your creation to fit um, the art world or the film industry. Look at those who are beside you, exchange knowledge and, and create together. This is always a very enriching experience. Stay true to yourself and to, to what you really want to say and what is important to you.